Um, it's almost pumpkin spice latte season. Oh my god, pumpkin spice is almost here! Sorry. Sorry. Y'all know I'm half white. Alright, y'all know I'm half white. I'm gonna tell you something. Pumpkin spice season? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can't wait. I got my fake Uggs, my flannel shirt, and my hoodies. I am ready for some pumpkin spice. Just saying. This is the ex-partner of Observe. And they have come out with a video two days ago. Six months after telling you Logan Portnier, Port Portnier of Observe is my abuser. An update. They have risen again. Yes. And I have not watched this video. So I do not know how bad this is going to be. Okay? So we're going to do this together. Now, if you don't remember this story, basically what it looked like it boiled down to is that he possibly was a bad husband. Okay, um, that's a dime a dozen. You know, people fall out of love with people. Uh, people are bad partners all the time. Well, the Observe ended up dating another woman. Now, Piper here, I believe it was Piper. Piper is their name? Yes, Piper. Piper here made it seem like he was cheating. Well, Piper then, when they wrote out this really long thing, remember the video I had Bunny read out? Piper mentioned in there that that same woman that he cheated on her with was a woman that they brought into the relationship together for the, both of them to date her. And apparently the husband picked the woman. Yeah, at the end of... And Stan, I think you summed it up perfectly. At the end of the day, it was a shitty relationship. Shitty relationships are a dime a dozen, 100%. Everybody has a shitty relationship. If you have been through life and not had a shitty relationship or a shitty time within the relationship you're in now, then you live in a world that I wish I lived in. So, let's see what they have to say. Hi, it's Piper. It has been six months since the release of my video of a Logan Portnier of Observe as my abuser. Um, and I thought I would give y'all an update on how I'm doing because a lot of you like to check in on me and I really appreciate that and you're so kind um, to those of you who just don't see me as a person and are here for the drama um, this is why I have to say to you oh love you too kisses kisses it has been good and bad hard and easy um, I guess just general life update I live in Portland Oregon now I am single living in a cute little studio with my puppy zero um, Oh, baby, why are you saying where you where you live? Don't do that. Don't do that. You know people are crazy. What are you doing? My dog, Rory, he passed away in May, and that was Aww. really difficult. Um, I have to okay, I feel sorry about the, the puppy. Well, not the puppy, but the dog, uh, the baby, passing away. I do feel sorry for that. You know, I'm always sad for those kind of things. Here, here in a necklace. Um, I didn't think I would adopt another dog for a long time, but then I saw Zero, and I'm so glad that I brought him home because he's the sweetest little nugget. Um, no. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm squirreling for a moment. For those of you who are here for the drama, here's a middle finger. Listen. You put that original video up because you wanted drama channels to pick it up and cancel Observe. Be honest about the situation. You wanted us to cancel him. You were hoping drama channels would pick it up and cancel him. But it didn't work out that way. Now you're pissed that people are into the drama? What? You're the one that created the drama by dragging it to YouTube. No one will ever replace Rory, but Cyril's pretty sweet. Um, 
And then other than that, like I'm just working. 100% pastel, exactly. They're all for the drama channels until it doesn't go the way they want. True pastel, true. And I have a full-time job. I work at least 40 hours a week uh, from home for a virtual clinic. Um, and after hours there's triage line. So my job can be stressful, it can be quiet sometimes. Um, yeah, I am pretty busy with that. And Zero, um, he's only seven months. So we're doing training and take walks every day. And um, yeah, that's kind of like my personal life update. Um, as far as things with uh, Logan, um, nothing happened. I shared my trauma, literally nothing happened from it other than some support, actually a lot of support, amazing support, and um, a lot of harassment. Um, nothing happened there you go that's why we got the middle finger nothing happened she expected us to cancel him the problem is you did not provide anything for us to cancel him for we're not going to cancel somebody just because they were just shitty in a relationship i'm sorry even good people can be shitty in a relationship you did not provide anything for us to actually properly, you know, by the court of, of, um, of social media, cancel him. And, the, and you know what, and here's the thing. I was one of the good ones to her. I was like, listen, it could have been a really bad relationship and she could be really angry. And sometimes when we're really angry, we stretch the truth on some things. And something that would seem small to someone else seemed really major to us. You know? So we'll blow it out to be bigger than what it really was because that's how our feelings are with the situation. And I get that. People do that all the time. It's what happens. But you never properly showed receipts for us to cancel him. All you did was describe a shitty relationship. I'm not going after this man just because he was a part of a shitty relationship. What? Guess what? Most people who are shitty in a relationship, they can go on and have a very healthy relationship afterwards. It's just for some reason the universe doesn't like two people being together. And, and when these two people are together, it causes chaos. That's just natural. That's human. And a lot of crying and panic attacks and feeling gaslit and um, questioning my own reality. There's no court case as much as he might make it seem like there is. Um, there's no court case going on. There's no litigation. He doesn't have a lawyer. Like, he makes it seem like so much is happening when there's literally nothing. Um, for those of you who continue to be like, well, reach out to Swoop, reach out to Swoop. And I've, I've like mentioned this in like, alive a few months ago and then um, on my Instagram story but she actually reached out to me um right after I uploaded those videos and she wanted to do an interview but she was having like some personal life things going on um so she was like just not getting back to me and we were like playing phone tag but it swoop please don't get involved in this swoop please do not get involved in this I'm telling you now swoop this person is being petty messages whatever um and that was fine like i was fine with that i was like you gotta do what you gotta do um then as soon as i stopped trending she ghosted me um i've heard nothing she unfollowed me everywhere i don't know what the f happened as far as i can tell it was oh okay so apparently she rec uh apparently she retroactively um listened to my advice <laughs> whoops hold on and that was fine like i was fine with that i was like you gotta do what you gotta do um then as soon as i stopped trending she ghosted me um, I've heard nothing. She unfollowed me everywhere. I don't know what the f happened. As far as I can tell, it's just that it wasn't popular anymore. So she wasn't gonna do it. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not the reason why Swoop did that. Swoop probably saw everything that we saw and was like, eh, it just sounds like it was a bad relationship and nothing there. Because how you described it in the beginning, and then once you went and explained it, your explanation versus what how you described it from the beginning were two different things. Um, other than that, I know that there are some other smaller creators that have made videos, and to that I say fuck you. Um, you have no idea how dehumanizing it is to have somebody pick apart when you're relaying your trauma and how somebody abused you. Um, to have someone else pick that apart and try to determine if you're telling the truth or not 
it just gave me a whole other level of disgust for what Logan does. It is so gross. You do not know this other person and they're not just a channel. They're not just like this entity. I'm a f person. I go to sleep at night. I dream. I wake up in the morning. I make coffee. I sit in my bed. I go. Okay, you're a person. You absolutely are a person. But, you know, people who are hurt. Okay, how do I put this? Some people can get so hurt over a situation that they actually can create their own trauma. Okay? Sometimes it's not the person who inflicted that trauma onto that person, but the person not mentally putting together what actually happens actually creates their own trauma from it. And I have a feeling... And listen, I'm no doctor, okay? I am not saying I'm a doctor. I can't, I am not, I'm just giving my thoughts on this. But I feel like this is maybe what she did. Unless there's things that she didn't show and didn't say. I go and I work. I answer phone calls all day. I take care of my puppy. I have to make dinner for myself. Like, I'm a person. Not something that you can just piece up take little pieces of and piece apart and pull apart and dissect and decide is this person telling the truth are they not that is literally not up to you to decide um actually oh god listen you're the one who put it on youtube you were hoping that drama channels picked up that story could you imagine how happy they would have been if we would have canceled observe and he would have lost a bunch of subs and articles would have been written on him. Do you know how happy they would have been? That's what they were hoping for. They didn't get what they wanted. Now they're pissed. What is up to you is if you'll support somebody who is hurting and comes out with information about a public figure. That's what you can do. If you wanted to dissect, dissect it and decide if somebody's telling the truth and not do that in your group chat, not online. I don't care who it's about. I don't care if it's about me. I don't care if it's about somebody else. Keep it to your self. No, because this is my job, and this is what I get paid to do. These lovely people in my chat, this is what they pay me to do. The people who watch my videos, this is what they pay me to do. If you put it on YouTube or you put it on social media, it is quite literally my job to give my opinion on what you're saying. Sit your ass down because you didn't get the results that you wanted. Get over yourself. Because the way you're acting now, you're acting like a child. Disgusting. Other than that, honestly, not much has happened. Um, my life has gone on. Crash for two. Keep it to yourself. Listen to your own advice. Exactly. Thank you, Crash, for the two. Honestly, not much has happened. Um, my life has gone on. Not much to say about it. Um shitty to see him going on to live his life like nothing happened and still gaining subscribers as if he's not he is allowed to move on that's what you need to do you need to move the f on go live your life be happy you have a new puppy be happy with your puppy you have a job go to coffee go to cafes and, and mingle with people meet people get friends go out live your best life move the f on and let that man move on swoop what is going on swoop can i ask you a question Speaking of Swoop, can I ask you a question, Swoop? Did you unfollow them? Okay. Did you unfollow them because um, they weren't popular anymore? And that the story wasn't popular anymore? Was that the reason why you unfollowed them? I have got to know, Swoop. Because I feel like that's not the reason why. I still follow them on Twitter, never unfollowed. BAM! BAM! WHAT?! So they lied. Piper lied. Piper, I am so, so sorry that you didn't get the results that you wanted. 
people like me, we were still giving you a benefit of the doubt that you were hurt. It was a shitty relationship. We were giving you the benefit of the doubt that, listen, they're really, really hurt right now. And they had a shitty relationship and, and they're just, they're in pain. And sometimes people, when they're in pain, they, they, they lash out. And that's what I felt like they were doing. But Piper, what you're doing now, you, I'm going to be honest. If somebody calls you a clout shark, I'm not even going to argue with them. I'm not even going to argue with them at this point. I'm not. Because that's exactly the move that it looks like you're doing. Oh my God. Piper is correct about one thing. I did stop responding to them, but not for the reason they said. I believe it. <sighs> okay, we're going to continue. And thank you, Swoop, for clearing up some things. I appreciate it. Because I was like, you know what? Hold on. Swoop's not the type that just because something's popular at the time, that she's not going to talk about it. Because if she feels like she wants to talk about something, she don't care if it's popular at the time or not. She's going to talk about it. Get the hell out of here. Not a piece of shit. Um... Yeah, and like I'll link my story below again for those of you who haven't read it. Um, it's just really difficult to like sit down and verbalize all the things that happened. Um, so that's why I wrote it out in a story. It's just really hard to articulate verbally, verbally and not. That, okay, what you wrote out in that story is what did you in. Because you literally just described a shitty relationship. That's what did you in writing it out. Oh my god. I'll get super triggered. Um, yeah, because like, as most of you know, I do have bipolar one. Um, I know that'll make me discredited to a bunch of you. Um, no. Because, oh my no, that's not true. Just because somebody's bipolar, that doesn't discredit, discredit somebody. Just because somebody's bipolar doesn't mean they're discredited. Absolutely not. And anybody who discredits somebody just because they're bipolar, you're scum. Because people can be hurt no matter what they have. This is very infuriating. Oh my God, what if she's manic right now? Oh my God, what if she's in psychosis right now? Oh my God, keep that to yourself too. Having bipolar disorder and having trauma like this it is really difficult to relive it by talking about it and not be triggered into a bipolar state. Um, so that's why I wrote it out. It's for my own mental health. Um, yeah, I, I feel a lot more healed since then. It doesn't trigger me as much like I'm not actively, like, having flashbacks anymore. Okay, Piper, that's good. Listen, Piper, you need to find your happy place, okay? You got to move on from this. As he, if he is off doing his own thing and living his happy life, you honestly need to do the same thing. And eventually, it will hurt less and less. Concentrate on your new puppy. Go find friends. Go go do things that make you happy. If going to the park and looking at, I don't know, ducks and birds and whatever makes you happy, go do that. Do things that make you happy. Do things that will distract you from the hurt of the relationship ending. That's what you got to do. Been there, done that, baby doll. I was in a relationship for six years that was horrible. It was a nightmare. I, I almost didn't survive it. But you know what? It got better because I started doing things that I liked. And, it, and that took my mind off of it. And eventually, now, I can completely talk about it and it doesn't affect me to talk about it. I don't get any kind of feelings when I talk about it at all. None. I don't get any feelings when I talk about it. I don't get happy. I don't get sad. I don't get angry. I don't get any of that. Because I have replaced that pain with happiness and things that make me happy. You need to do the same thing. Um, but it's still really hard. Like the other day I woke up to some really mean comments and messages. Um, and I was just like some days it doesn't bother me at all. I'm like, oh, it's just people on the internet, whatever. Like, ugh, they have access to a keyboard when they shouldn't. Um, other times, like the other day, it was just like really like bringing up a lot of shit, like a lot of memories, a lot of like, like my body was feeling activated. Um, and I actually had to leave my, my shift because at work because um, 
I could not answer calls while sobbing. Um, so like some days it doesn't bother me, other days that happens and um, those days are less and less frequent, which is really nice. Um, That's but they good. Do still occur. Um, I did not write a script for this, so I'm just kind of like going with whatever, I'm trying to think of, you know, all the questions you guys have asked me and how I can answer them. Um, clearly I'm very nervous right now. Um, these okay, to future content creators or content creators in my chat right now, anything and everything you put up on YouTube it is a huge possibility that somebody is going to react to it or somebody's going to do a story on it. So be careful with what you put online because sometimes you're not going to like the result of people's reaction to it. But just remember, you're the one who put it online. You practically did it to yourself. These videos are a little bit hard for me to do. Um, Cause it's like, I know <laughs> I'm so nervous after my last videos because of the large response I got. Like I wasn't anticipating that. And, um, how were you not anticipating that you were calling out a large channel? You were calling out a large channel. How were you not participating that you knew drama channels were going to pick it up. What is wrong with you? I don't know. Like I want to, like protect myself but at the same time i'm like i would want to know an update if i were you guys um especially since he continues to go on as if nothing happened it's called moving on piper that's simply all he's doing he's just moving on you've got to move on in your life you have to or you'll make yourself miserable like you are obviously still miserable in this video bro i don't know how much more of this video i can take I it's just messy um if i could have anything in this world right now it would be that he would take down all the videos with me um i would love for that tie to be cut because when he uploads a video like he did the other day because i woke up to messages and comments and i was like what the fuck just happened um so i like went to go see like did he upload something and he uploaded a love island um video which is like the videos we used to do together um and so naturally people were like going back and watching the older videos which i'm in and then they're finding me they're finding my content they're i just i just wish he would remove those videos um, I've tried with YouTube to get them taken down. They're like, YouTube recommends that you reach out to the creator. Okay. Um, I, I feel about two ways about that. One, it's his content. He is the owner of that content. So you can't make him do that. But I don't find it completely unreasonable that she wants those videos to be taken down. E even if it's just unlisted. Um, it won't, it won't mess him up in the algorithm if he unlists them. I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's completely unreasonable. But it's still down to his decision because he owns that content. Yeah, I don't want to have contact with him. Um, so I don't know what to do about that. But yeah, I would love for those videos to be taken down. Um, yeah. And like, I know, hi Logan and Bunny, I know you're watching this, you dumb f Um. Oh baby, you come off so bitter. You come off so bitter. Oh my God, stop. Stop making these videos. You, it, you're not, you're not helping. You're literally feeding the trolls with this video and this is not, oh honey, you gotta stop. You've got to stop. Take them down. I don't know. It's just shitty. Like, it's just a shitty. Shitty situation. Shitty regrets. I could go back in time and tell 19 year old me, get the fuck out of that coffee shop. This guy's a piece of shit. I would. But can't do that. So, if I could go back and tell 24 year old me, don't make these videos with him, I would. Um, because now I'm online with him. And people watch those videos and they find me. Listen, regret is a really, listen, if I could, huh, if I can go back and change things, my God, okay? Woo! But you know what? You're going to hit a place, eventually you're going to hit a place in your life where you wouldn't go back and change things. And I'm going to tell you why. If I could go back and change things from when I was 18, I would never have met the husband that I have now. And if I would have never met him, I can honestly say I don't know if I would ever have been as happy as I am now with my husband. 
So the way I look at it, for me personally, I, I'm not saying everybody, but for me personally, the shitty stuff that I went through in life was my pathway to meet Mr. Ziley. I feel like the way I look at it is I literally went through that stuff for the reason of finding happiness later on. I really do feel that way now. It took me a long time to feel this way. But I do. I feel like maybe it was meant for me to go through all that stuff. Now, I'm not saying it, it, stuff is meant for people to go through. I, I'm not saying that for everybody else. I'm telling you for my own, like for me, only for me. I feel like I was meant to go through that stuff to get to where I'm at now. You know? You can find happiness again, Piper. You can. But the thing is, you're not going to find true happiness until you move on. You got to move on. You have to. Or you're going to make your own life miserable. He's not in that apartment with you to make you miserable. Only you are. Stop making yourself miserable. Do little things. And, and before you know it, the little things turn into big things. And then the big things make you extremely happy. And then before you know it after that, you're not worried about him anymore. You don't care. You don't give a f And... I honestly, if those videos got taken down and I was not on his channel, I would happily remove all the videos that I've made about him because um, I just want to move on with my life. I, I love making art and sharing it. I love creating things and sharing it. And that's what you should do. That's exactly what you should do. And honestly, what she's saying is not unreasonable. I don't think it's unreasonable. He can unlist them. I say, so it won't mess up his algorithm, okay? So it doesn't look like he deleted a bunch of videos, all right? He can unlist all of them. And then she will take down her videos about him. I don't think that's unreasonable at all. I really don't. I don't think that's unreasonable. I love making cute little videos and sharing it. But as long as those videos exist, that's going to be brought into what brings me joy and is like a detachment for me. Um... Piper, you can still make those videos. Still make those videos. Do your art. Show people what makes you happy. Push through it. You can push through it. Okay. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I want to say. I don't know. Um, this was kind of a rambling video. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to give an update. Let you guys know where I'm at. Okay, I had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. And go and lie on my girl Swoop. What? What's wrong with you? How you gonna lie on Swoop like that? How you gonna lie on Swoop like that?